senior class looking for their 110th win of their careers in the last four-year period for Rosati, Elliott, and Better. And there's a takeaway by Rosati. Credit Better with a little bit of a piece of that one. Nice assist. Jennifer Rosati is a Connecticut champion, leading her UConn women's basketball team to their first NCAA championship in 1995. It was the beginning of a sports dynasty in women's college basketball. Ms. Rosati went on to play at the highest level of professional women's basketball. She successfully coached both college teams and the U.S. Olympic team. Now, as president of the WNBA's Connecticut Sun, Jennifer Rosati continues to grow the game of women's basketball and to create more opportunities for women in sports. I think one of the reasons Jennifer was a great leader, is a great leader, it was her unapologetic nature through it all. Like, I'm gonna go out here and compete and try to win, and if you have something wrong with that, there's something wrong with you. With a sense of right and wrong and justice always in there, and, and treating people the way they deserve to be treated. Because of the way that Coach Riz treated us and the love that we felt in that program, it's inspired me to be the best version of myself as a coach now that I have the opportunity to impact young women. Growing up in New Fairfield, Connecticut, Jennifer was raised by supportive parents and three competitive siblings. In high school, she led her basketball team to victory in two state championships. I always loved sports. There wasn't a time that I can remember that I wasn't playing them. Basketball was always my first love. The excitement, the intensity, the, the pace of basketball is like no other sport. UConn recruited Jennifer to play for the Huskies in 1992. First impressions of her as a basketball player were um, just as this feisty, hardworking player. And it was empowering to those of us who were around her like, oh yeah, we can be that. We can be tough and strong and work hard and inspire. It was my senior year, her junior year, where UConn won uh, their first national championship. Went undefeated, 35-0. We wouldn't have had any of the success that we had subsequent years if it wasn't for her leadership abilities. Number 21, and we became instant celebrities. We set the standard for what UConn basketball was going to be for decades to come. And to be a kid in Connecticut at that time who loved girls basketball, just watching her play and watching Coach Riz's intensity and competitiveness, it just made me fall in love with the game. By the time she was a senior, what she was doing was more challenging and more demanding and harder because there was a little bit more expectation. She handled it by winning a bunch of awards and being one of the best players in the country. After graduating with her bachelor's degree in biology, Jennifer Rosati was drafted by the nascent American Basketball League's New England Blizzard. It was perfect. They needed a, a kind of a homegrown hero um, to help lead that team, and that's what she was. Jennifer went on to play for the WNBA's Houston Comets and Cleveland Rockers. And then I was offered the head coaching position at the University of Hartford in 1999, the end of my first season playing in Houston for the WNBA. In my memory, Jennifer was the first player who was playing professionally at the same time that she was coaching a college team, a Division I team. It's kind of mind-blowing at the time because you know they're both full-time jobs. Jennifer Rosati married her college sweetheart, William Sullivan, in 1999. They went on to have two children together. After playing professional basketball for over seven years, Jennifer decided to retire. While coaching at the University of Hartford, Ms. Rosati was named Coach of the Year three times in the America East Conference. Went to six NCAA tournaments and we won numerous America East championships and have developed relationships with those players and their families that will last me the rest of my life. Playing for Coach Rosati, it's had a, a huge impact on my life. She really created this culture of empowering women to be competitive and want to win, but also doing it in the right way, being great people, being great community leaders, being focused on academics. One of Jennifer's most treasured honors came in 2013 when she was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. After 17 highly successful years coaching at the University of Hartford, Ms. Rosati was offered the position of head coach at George Washington University. 
I was really surprised when Jennifer took the job at George Washington, but I also understood that there was a next step for her in her career. She could take a different team and a new team and have them playing at the highest level. In 2020, Jennifer Rosati was selected as an assistant coach for the USA Olympic women's basketball team. I was speechless. Getting asked to be the coach on the best team in the world, on the most successful team sport in Olympic history, I just don't know that there's any better honor. There's not many coaches who can say they helped guide a team to a gold medal. There's very few of them. In 2021, Jennifer was recruited to be president of the WNBA's Connecticut Sun franchise. All of a sudden, this new challenge was in front of me. I've just been so impressed with the women of this league and what they have stood for and their fight for social justice equality. And I thought, what better place for me to utilize my platform, right, to elevate their voices. You know, my legacy will be the, the players that I impacted and the people that I impacted and hopefully opening up some doors for the next generation and to, to help continue to promote and grow the game.